Welcome everyone to a new FIFA 22 tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Spanish club Atletico Madrid. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup tactics and instructions. All in my opinion of course in FIFA 22 at this moment. Uh, but before we begin I really wanted to ask you to drop a like under the video. It will be really helpful for me if you will do that. It will rank my videos higher in YouTube. So if you want to do me a little favor please drop that like. And if you are new to my channel and you want to make sure you find your way back easy to this channel, make sure, sure you are subscribed with notifications on so when I'm uploading a new video you get a message. Uh, I'm doing lots of tactic videos for all the big clubs in FIFA 22. Uh, I'm also going to do some tutorial videos later. Uh, and when I think there's a better way to play with this team or with another team, I'm going to up update these videos as well. So if you're interested, make sure you are subscribed. All right. Uh, let's start with the formation for Atletico Madrid. It's the 4-2-2-2 formation. The lineup Oblak is the goalkeeper, of course. Uh, Vizalco is the right defender, and I prefer him over Trippier because he is a bit faster, and that's the only reason. I know Trippier is 84 rated, and the other one is 80 rated, but he has a bit more pace. It's not a lot, but yeah, it's enough. Uh, for me to choose him and uh, yeah, it's to catch up all the fast attackers that you are facing when you are going to play online with this team. Uh, then we have two wonderful center backs. They are pretty fast for center backs. Uh, Hermoso and Gimenez. And then we have Lodi on the left side. Then I have two defensive midfielders. Llorente is the first one and Koke is the second one. Koko, Koke is playing as the most defensive midfielder and Llorente as the most attacking midfielder. And this guy is really amazing as well in the attack as well as in the defense. He is so fast for a central midfielder with 88 pace. He is really amazing. He is uh, yeah, back in time when you lose the ball to defend and yeah. All you have to do almost all the time is select Llorente and uh, yeah, run after the ball. Uh, just cut the passing lanes from your opponent and you're already halfway there. Uh, because he's so fast, it's really easy to defend with that guy. All right, now we're going to uh, the attacking midfielders. I choose Felix and Griezmann. Uh, you can also play with Lamar if you want uh, on one of those two sides uh, but I really like to have Lamar on the bench so we have a really good fresh player to bring in in the second half the same for De Paul he is a really good midfielder he can also play as an attacking midfielder uh, but most of the times I will replace him for Koke and you have a really good central midfielder on the bench same for Lamar I bring him in uh, most of the times to replace Felix or Guiasman. Uh, then we have two strikers, Carrasco and Suarez. Suarez, uh, yeah, he's really, really good at shooting, of course. And Carrasco is there because of his pace with 88 pace. He's pretty fast. He is making the runs. And uh, yeah, most goals I scored with him, I guess, in the, in the matches that I played with Atletico Madrid. Uh, then we're going to the tactics. I choose drop back with a width of 40 bars and a depth of 50. I, I say bars all the time because that was in FIFA 21. It's not bars anymore. Uh, 50 with of uh, 40 with 50 depth. Uh, the build-up play. I was doubting about uh, this one. Uh, balanced is good, but also fast build-up is good. And uh, what I did most of the times, I started with balanced, and when I thought it was needed in the second half i was uh, selecting the fast build up so my players are going to run faster forward a bit uh, your opponent is getting tired especially when you bring in lamar and um, the ball you have some fresh players they are going to make some lovely runs so you can really overrun your opponent uh, if you select that one on the second half then we have chance creation i choose direct passing over there uh, the width is 50 uh, players in the box, only four bars, uh, corners and free kicks, two bars for me for this team, but that doesn't matter for the tactics at all. Then we're going to the instructions. Uh, the right defender stay back while attacking is the only thing that I changed for him. Uh, Gimenez is just default, Hermoso the same, just default, and on the left side. Uh, then we have Lodi, stay back while attacking is the only thing that I changed for him. Then we're going to Llorente. I already said he's the most attacking midfielder. Cut passing lanes. 
get forward, free roam and cover center are the four things that I changed for him. Now we're going to Koke. Uh, he is the most defensive midfielder. So good passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center are the three things that I changed for him. Uh, Felix, only thing I changed for him is free roam. Uh, the same for Griezmann on the left side. Only thing I changed is free roam. Then we have Carrasco. I already said it. He's going to make the runs with his pace. So uh, attacking runs is on get in behind. And then we have Suarez. The only thing I changed for him is stay central. All right, that's it for Atletico Madrid. Um, I hope you like it, of course. Try it out yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think of it, what your results are. I'm really curious about that. And yeah, of course, I hope you will win with this because that's why I'm making these videos. I'm trying to help you guys win matches and uh, hopefully I will do that. Uh, I, I will do a great job for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and hopefully we will see you next time. Bye-bye.